Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do a project share for you. This is for Wendy Lee Designs and Crafts here on YouTube. She just completed a giveaway. She did her last entry last night. This is for her birthday challenge giveaway. Her birthday was in September and she wanted to host a birthday giveaway. She had extended the date to October 15th. That was about a week ago and she just did her last entry this evening. I had already started this project for her and I had stopped because she said that she was waiting for some previous entries to arrive and then she was gonna end it. So I'm like, you know what? I started this for her, I'm gonna finish it for her and I'm gonna give it, give it to her anyways. So this will probably be the last entry that she gets. I don't wanna be entered into the giveaway because everybody else got theirs on time, but I just wanted to support her channel. She just started it earlier this year and she's already over 1k subscribers which is pretty impressive not even a year on youtube so what she is requesting is that you create a craft kit that you have papers and some embellishments and some other craft supplies that you can use to put together some crafty projects so she was requesting six six by six papers two specialty papers that will coordinate with the six papers that you selected one crafty supply, it could be charms, stickles, beads, sequins, whatever, and one set of two embellishments, flowers, rosettes, things like that. She also wanted you to have an ATC card. That was one of the main requirements for this giveaway is that you have an ATC card that you submit with all your information on, your, on the back, your name, your address, your date of birth, your likes, your crafty style, um, and your social media information. And as a bonus, she wanted you to submit a shaker, but it wasn't required. You could do one if you wanted to. I've seen a lot of entries that were for Halloween and a few for Christmas. Some were for um, spring, like Easter, things like that. But I didn't see anybody doing one for Valentine's Day. So I decided that I'm going to do one for Valentine's Day. So this is what I created for her in front of you. And I used this paper here from Craftsmart. I've had this for almost two years and I still have quite a bit, so I wanted to use that up. And this paper in particular, this was kind of hard for me to use, so I decided to make a loaded envelope with it. Now, I have a card here for her that I got from Julius Scabaris. I did not make this, but it had a heart on it, and I thought it was perfect for this Valentine's Day theme. So I have a message for her inside, and I will be giving that to her. And on the outside here, I use some of that trim that Kayla uses to make her trims that she sells. I found this at Walmart and I made my own ruffle trim and I had some of this lace trim in my stash so I used that and then you guys have seen this heart trim from Hobby Lobby. I really love using this. So right up at the front I made this little envelope for her and inside is some sequin. I'm not going to open it. You guys can see the sequin mix right there. So that's what I'm giving her and I'm also giving her some die cut words in gold and pink. I'm also giving her this trim. I made this little spool from several different layers of this die that I had. Let me show you. This is the trim. Some of you may have seen this before. And then I added this dangle. It's got lips, this other dangle, and a heart. So she's getting that. And I just decorated the packaging with a simple bow. And then I gave her some of these heart embellishments that she can use on her projects. They are puffy hearts. And then this is my ATC. I'll take that out for you. And this is what it looks like. I use some bling around the edges. This is a die that I have that I cut it in three different places to make it look like there's coffee in there. Just, this is all glitter paper. And then this is some matte foil paper that I used in this hot pink for the hearts, like the steam coming out of the coffee cup. And then I have sweet here that I stickled up. And then this heart is from one of these Hearts that's popped out, and of course, it is a shaker. I made it into a shaker. Okay, so there's that. And then this is my shaker. I'm not going to take this one out, but I love the way it turned out. I have 
lovely die cut in gold foil paper from Michaels and I have this matte like a purpley pink paper from Anna Griffin and then I use five millimeter foam around the heart to make the shaker and I use this pearl iridescent trim flat back pearls all the way around I added this bow this grow grain bow put a gem center on it and then I added a dangle to it so that's what that looks like that's my shaker and then I created this mini clipboard for her I've always wanted to make one of these and this is a dangle making kit so she can make some dangles with what I have here for her I have some lobster class for her some jump rings some chain and some dangles that I created for her these gold beads are just loose in here so she can add those to any project that she wants my bag topper is just a strip of ruffle, ruffle trim with some pink gems I created this uh, banner here puffy hearts and some embroidery thread and then this is another dangle that I made with some rhinestone trim and another dangle that I made and then this clip was from the Heidi Swap haul that I did the other day and she can use the back of this or this side I didn't put my sticker on it just in case she wants to reuse it she can use either side and then these are the papers that I had selected for her some of them are from Joanne some of them are from Hobby Lobby and then the rest of them are from the paper pad the specialty papers I use this basil acetate that has this iridescent finish on it I also use this textured paper here it's very fibrous and then some vellum with gold so that's the paper and then I also included some cut aparts from the paper collection as well as some of these die cut words from Michaels and then these are my embellishments that I created for her. they are typewriters and they have um, I use different papers like from the collection and I cut out lovely in gold glitter paper I added some heart gems and some butterfly gems there is some of that pink gem trim going across the top of the typewriter here some flowers and I've also added some charms this bag topper is from Andre Gould she gave this to me in one of my challenges and I thought this was a perfect bag topper for this entry and this flower here this is also from the Walmart tablecloth I made a flower and then I also included these bags. I had found these, I believe at Daiso, if not Dollar Tree, one of those two places. And I have quite a few, so I decided to share some with her. So that is my entry for Wendy. I hope that she likes it. I'm going to leave her information down below so that you guys can check out her channel. If you are new to her channel, um, go ahead and subscribe and show her some support. She has a lot of videos that you guys can check out and yeah subscribe to her channel if you love her content and tell her that I sent you tell her solo craft sent you and you can check her out all right and good luck to everybody else who entered I will have more pictures on my Instagram page so if you guys are not subscribed to my channel and you like what you see please go ahead and hit that subscribe button also hit that bell so you'll be notified of any new posts to my channel if you have any comments about anything that I have created here please go ahead and feel free to leave a comment down below and hit that like button all right I appreciate you guys watching I'm so grateful for your support I hope everyone is doing well and I hope that you guys will have a great day see you on my next video